Hey people, this is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to the final episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like button number below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated. In our last episode you guys, we did make our way through Victory Road, we did take on Wally at the start of the Victory Road, which took us by complete surprise. But we made our way through the victory road, no losses, all good in the hood, and we are ready to take on the illustrious Elite Four. So for the final time for this Let's Play, let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking it with today for you guys. From the top, our first Pokemon that we caught or were given in this Let's Play, Petrie, our Aerodactyl, our starter for this Let's Play. Never yeah, got a fossil as a Let's Play starter, but hey, it worked. It done really well, especially with Crush Chop. <laughs> Fly, Ancient Power, Crush Chop, and Bite. Then we have Petey, the Victory Bell, Vine Whip, Rap, Growth, and Flash. Honestly, guys, Victory Bell has surprised me with the limited moves that it has that has survived and actually been a very useful member of the team. Totally by complete surprise. But hey, not gonna argue that. Then we got Kamix, the Blastoise, Surf, Bite, Dive, and Rock Smash. Let's be real, it's a HM slave, but hey, Kavix Blastoise is nothing to be laughed at. He is power. Then we got Pancakes, the Snorlax, Body Slam, Headbutt, Strength, and Yawn. Because, you know, I can relate to all that sort of movements. <laughs> then we got some Gaia, the Groudon, Earthquake, Ancient Power, Fire Blast, and Bulk Up. And finally, we have Poseidon, the Kyogre, Surf, Ice Beam, Ancient Power, and Calm Mind. So sadly, we couldn't catch the Rayquaza, but hey, Groudon and Kyogre? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna complain about having that lineup on my team. So everyone's jumped to level 50. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get in this bitch. Let's do this. First off, wait, 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 before I get any further, make sure I've got medication. So we got uh, lava cookies, we got forest stores, and an elixir. Yeah, I think we should be good. I think we'll be good. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon, and go forth! Oh, that was uh, quite the entrance, thank you. Alright. First Elite Four member. It's Sydney. Welcome, Challenger! I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you're giving me a good match. That's good, looking real good. Alright, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here at the Pokemon League. Rightio, firstly four member, here we go. Heracross is the first Pokemon. That's actually kind of ironic. <laughs> we'll fly up. Heracross uses counter. Ooh. Luckily we're using a quite effective uh, fly here. Heracross ain't living that, boy. Man, Heracross, you know what, I love me some Heracross. It's another Aerodactyl, and that's level 49, so I don't even know if that's the ace. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, Poseidon. The Drizzle activates. Scary face. Okay, well, you're going to outspeed me either way, so that's fine. Oh no, can we not do this please? There we go! You can't fool a legend! Super effective! Down goes the Aerodactyl. Elekid. Okay, um, this is actually a problem. Because this Elekid has Thunder, that's actually going to hurt quite a bit. So I'm going to swap over to Gaia, expecting the Thunder type move, or the Electric type move. Here comes the Sun to change the weather. And it has light screen. Ooh. Okay there, buddy. Earthquake! In before someone's like, dude, it's an Elekid. Why are you afraid? Um, guys, 
It's a thunder, okay? You don't scoff a thunder in rain, okay? First off, it's 100% and it's gonna survive. Jolteon's next. Well, <laughs> well, we're we gonna have some fun with this one. Double kick. <laughs> you try to kick a Groudon with Jolteon feet? Oh boy, you're about to get laughed at. And Torchic. So, the Ace was in fact Aerodactyl. So, it's like Sydney had completely dog shit Pokemon. Heracross and Aerodactyl, those are pretty decent Pokemon. The rest of it, eh, baby Pokemon. You really can't, you really couldn't argue that. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Heh, <laughs> that was fun, so it doesn't matter. I'm um, actually, bitch, it does matter. Well, listen to what the, this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Um, I was planning to do that, but thanks for the, the advice there, loser Sydney. And I could relate because I Sydney, you know. Um, oh, this is, um, what's her name? I can't remember her name now because, you know. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training at Mount Pia. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond of developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. See if even you can inflict... Man, she's got confidence. If she's just sitting there like, Oh, can you even touch my Pokemon? Uh, bitch, first off, that ain't, that ain't a fucking Psychic-type Pokemon. So you can get right off with that. So we fly up. Psychic misses. Now, will Grumpy survive? Probably, because Grumpy's got a lot of defense. As it does. And Psychic's gonna do some decent damage. Alright, so we're gonna fly up again. And I missed my fly. Are you serious? Come on! Why? Uh, how do you miss fly? I will never know. You fly up, you look down at your target, you swing at it, and you miss for some reason. I don't get that. Magic coat. Well, I wasn't trying to yawn ya. But, Body Slam is going to be a two hit KO. And we're going to see rest happen from this Grumpig. Oh man. Okay, this Grumpig. Okay guys, we've got ourselves a snore. It has snore. Oh man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was just like, uh, what? Tediosa. Why do you look so crap, Tediosa? I'm sorry, but like... I've seen like later sprites of you and you look far better. Even in Crystal, you look better than you do here. I don't get it guys. I, I don't get it. Like seriously, it's like, it looks so like the, the color is so died down. Now we have ourselves a Kecleon. I gotta say, decent team. We've had um, Grumpig, that's been quite the quite the issue. Alright, we're gonna go for a boy slam on Kecleon. And we get the Paralysis. Yeah, buddy. Flatten the competition with that big ass. Because that's how a lot of people like to do it these days. <laughs> Octillery. Alright, so these are decent Pokemon. Alright, so let's go for a bunch of Focus Energy. Okay, so if this thing is Sniper, then we ought to be very careful. Let's go for a boy slam. Octazooka. Um, thankfully, no crits. Thank God. Okay, so it might not be Sniper. I don't know. But hey, we're living. We out here. We living. And Clefairy. Now, if you had Eviolite, you would actually be a pretty good contender. But we are going to see Cosmic Power. It's going to make Clefairy very bulky indeed. And thankfully, it's not... I don't even know what I was going to say. It's not synchronized. I was like, wait, what? It's not synchronized. We got Q-Charm, though. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? You know what? No, I ain't dealing with this. Yep, I knew that was going to happen, but you know what? I was not going to survive through infatuation. Fuck that shit. And because of all these boot- Oh my god, stop with the infatuation! And this thing has moonlight. Oh boy, okay, you know what? You know what? Um... Ugh. You know what? Fuck it, I'm going to do this. Cosmic power. This bitch is just sitting here, and I'm like, no, you are not- Has- And it has Meteor Mash! What on earth? And you, oh my god, this, 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 this Clefairy, guys, this Clefairy is just sitting here. Surf, get out of here with that bullshit. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. Well, what do you expect? There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. 
Okay, well, thank you, but I mean, goddamn, I mean, that was damn annoying. Um, just a max potion. There we go. And soda pop for pancakes. Two down, two to go. Welcome, my name is Glacier of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ace skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to want to go out, but hey, I mean, I ain't gonna disappoint you. Gulpin. That, on the other hand, is gonna be disappointing. <laughs> Sludge bomb and you miss. Okay, cool. Gulpin. I'm gulpin. Uh, stockpile. Okay, he's gonna heal now as I fly up. And because of that stockpile. Okay. Um, yeah, it's dead. Okay, thank god for that. Okay. Ooh, Melotic. Well, how duty. Okay, let's bring out Petey. Hydro Palm. That does nothing. Nice. Okay. Rain Dance. Wow, okay, uh, this here, alrighty, safeguard. So this thing has rain dance, hydro pump, misses the hydro pump, oh that is a shame, that is a darn shame. Is P going to take out the melodic? Withdraws! For Pidgeotto, wow. You want to talk about some next level plays, that is some next level plays right there, wow. Um, okay, uh... Let's bring out Petri! Because I sense a flight. Has a Rayquaza! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! We're taking on legends over here! Ancient power! Choice banded! Ooh, he's got that Dragon Dance going. But we still have speed! Look at that! That's how slow Rayquaza is! Fun fact for you guys, I've been seeing memes of this coming up, but Rayquaza is base 95 and Miltank is base 100. That is wild when you think about it, that a cow outspeeds a legendary dragon. That's crazy! It's wild! Okay, Melodic's just about dead. We got a little boosty boost, and get another boosty boost! Wowee! Wowee, we're plus two! on everything because of ancient power. How lucky can we get? Good lord. So down goes that, and you got one more Pokemon. Who's that? Who's your last Pokemon? It's a Groudon! Oh my! Oh wow, okay! Here comes the Drizzle! Fire Blast! Ha 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 ha! I can do the full, uh, the, what's his name? Seth Rollins. Ha 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 ha! That ain't gonna do shit, my boy! It's a crit too! God damn! Sorry, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. So my opponent had Rayquaza and Groudon. I love the challenge in this. I'm loving it. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills fail to harm you. Well, it's not that you fail to harm me, it's just I beat you. That's just what it is. Advance to the next room, and there confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Wow. And she had Legend! She had Rayquaza and Groudon. And she had a Melodic too. So, I mean, her team was pretty stacked. You guys gotta admit, that was a pretty stacked... And her Pokemon were high level, so it's not like my Pokemon were over leveled by any means. I thought 50 would be a good level to, to train and run up. Hot damn, guys. Hot damn, son. Hot damn. Hot lord. Alright, here comes Draki Drak. I am the master of the Pokemon League in Leaf 4. Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners. What do you, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Okay, they see Captain Draco. Master Draco. Under battle, Dario Dragon there. Alright. Electrode! Okay! Rightio, buddy! No! <laughs> no! We're not doing this! No! Roll out! 
I was not expecting rollout. Okay then. Radio yawn. Get sleepy, you ball. Be ball in the competition. Okay, doing a little damage still, but um, I can't afford anything like that. Yeah, you, you, you go into sleep there. Yeah, good buddy. You can take a little sleepy sleep. And that is... Oh, no. It's going to wake up. At least the four restores have stopped. So I'm going to try to yawn again. So I am making those next level plays, predicting the, the rollout or something like that. Or rather. And down goes the electrode back to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep as he survives on 1 HP. Woke up to self-destruct! I knew it was there! I knew it was there! And that's why I said, we're not doing this. We're not doing this! <laughs> um, Hyper Beam! Yo, that was actually a pretty good move. Um, I have a headbutt? Yeah, I... I I'm gonna go for it. We'll get rid of Headbutt and use Hyper Beam. It's a Flappy. Hey, it's Flapster. Hey, Flapster, what's, what's shaking? Thunder, and it lands. Um, okay. Oh, God. I got paralyzed. Not fun, son. Not fun. Body Slam. Light Screen. Yeah, because I'm totally gonna freaking paralyze you. Alright, uh, strength. Thunder lands again. Uh, pancakes! Survives! Yeah! Stacked like a stack of pancakes at freaking Denny's. Let's go. Although, in Australia, we use pancakes and rocks, not Denny's. Alright, uh, that is. Pff, I completely forgot the Pokeballs. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, let's bring in Petrie. It's building energy for the next attack! Bye, bitch. <laughs> you ain't doing that shit on me. <laughs> Goodbye. Say bye-bye. Golem. Another goddamn Pokemon that can just go kaput. Let's bring in Kamex. Roll out. And that was a crit. Ooh, you bitch. Rise and surf. Take out the Golem. Literally two ball Pokemon. Golem and an Electrode. Ooh, and a very nice finish with the Umbria. Seriously, guys, these teams are pretty good. A lot of times I'll randomize games, and Elite Four is just utterly disappointing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we get randomized, and it's like, oh, yeah, you're taking on, like, I don't know, Lance, and Lance has a magic carp. And it's just like, fucking, what? Ugh, why? Alright, um, let's go for Rock Smash. Look at that, does absolutely jack shit. We are getting the defense drops though, which is good. And we are gradually doing more damage. We can't run now. That's fine. I wasn't going nowhere. And you want a moonlight, that's fine. The more I reduce your damage, your defenses, the better. Because guess what? I'm just gonna sit here and rock smash you. And the funny part is faint attack is a special move because you know, all that freaking bullshit. Rock smash, rock smash, rock smash, rock smash. You can do that all you want, but guess what? You dead. <laughs> no stalling on me, boy. Superb, that should be said. Oh, well thanks. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go! Go onwards, the champion is waiting. Rightio, guys. Let me go ahead and heal up all my Pokemon. Oh, God. Pancakes took a fucking beating in that battle, but hey, he's still swinging. You are still swinging, and I appreciate that. There we go. So let's go ahead and finish this off the same way we started it, with our starter. Um. What the fuck? Where's Steve? Welcome, Sharpino. That incident in Sotopla City was a superb work, putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops, it wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame the difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. 
but that we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. Oh, uh, what? Steve's not the champion? I'm confused. I thought Steven was the champion. Did they change it to Wallace because of... I'm con I'm con I'm... Yo, I'm confused right now. I... 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 Okay then. Another electrode. Oh my god, can we stop with the electrodes? Jesus! Explosion. First turn, explosion. Is this gonna be the end for pancakes? Yeah, we survived that shit. Fuck you. Marchamp. Ooh, yikes. Okay, that is terrifying. Um... I sense a cross chop coming in our direction. Who has the most defense? Groudon has the most defense, so it would make sense to bring in Groudon. So let's bring Groudon. Vital throw. And that was a crit. Oh, dude. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Bulk up. Scary face. Fine. You can do that. Oh god, that's got high crit range. Oh god. Okay. First of this battle is going to go to, to, to Groudon. I just want to make sure I survive. That's bullshit. But the two bulk ups seem to have come into play. So we're going to go for an Earthquake. We're plus two. Is it going to take out Marchamp though? Yes it is. Let's go. Holy crap, I was freaking out over that. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, Gloom. Um, I'm not sure if I like the fact that you're here. You would either have Leaf Storm, Petal Dance, which is not good in any sense of the word. The problem is there's no one on my team that can really handle it. Um... Except for Petey, so... Sleep Powder. Oh. That's good. Flash. Reduce your accuracy. Sleep Powder. Haha, <laughs> you missed Flash again! That's neutral with Flash. Flash, 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 Flash. And I missed my Flash. How do you miss Flash? How do you miss Flash? I'm making this thing blind as a dingbat. Blind as a zoobat. Uh -huh. And now it's at... Uh, at that was a crit! Okay, you know what? You know what? I haven't seen any Grass-type moves though. Which is what's interesting me, is the fact that we've seen Sleep Powder, Acid, but nothing else. So, I want to bring in Petri, Acid. That's going to do jack shit. Fly. Pedal Dance. He does have Pedal Dance! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Laron. Okay, so let's swap back into Poseidon to bring the water back up. Iron Tail. Yo! Okay! You're gonna protect, you little bitch. Get out of here! <laughs> oh, Weedle. And see, this is where you're like, dude, really? A oh, fucking Weedle? Come on. That works! See, a legendary! Legendary Pokemon makes sense. Sunny day. Oh wow. See, that's a pro play. Using sunny day. I like that. Um, let's use, uh... Let's use ancient power. Fire blast. Miss! Oh damn. I'm so sorry. But ancient power, quite effective, survives. Bull restore. That's fine. You just give me another chance to use this. Bring about halfway. No boost, but that's fine. One more should get the job done. I mean, you are eight levels above me, but I'm pretty sure we should still survive a fire blast. Get that shell bell recovery. 
And Poseidon's level 51! Hooray! I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant and furiatingly so. And yet, it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Sharpino. You are a truly noble Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region... Sharpino! How would you like some advice before you challenge the champion? Sharpino, are you trying to tell me you've beaten the champion? See, what I tell you, Brendan? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Sharpino? Sharpino, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father in the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion? Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Hmm, let's see. So you've seen 182 Pokemon, and you've caught 34 Pokemon. Well, it could use more quantity, but this is looking more like a Pokedex now. Hmm, on a nationwide basis? You've seen 348 and caught 63. Anyways, congratulations! Now go proudly into the final room! Sharpino? No, let me raise that properly. The new champion! Come with me! Wallace, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but from here on only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. What? It can't be helped if that's the rule. Sharpino, way to go! Congratulations! Hey! This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as the trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you. Well, the fact that we didn't lose any Pokemon is obviously a good start whenever you take it on the Elite Four. I mean, hell, I remember last time I took on the Elite Four was uh, in my... In my last let's play, I mean not 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 Sword and Shield, but the one before that, which was was a heart. Oh, it was it was my modern Dark Shiny Lock. But the one before that was the heart was the Soul Silver one, and I only had one Pokemon left, and I won because Lance fucked up. But ladies and gentlemen, we've done. It. I was surprised. I thought Steven was the champion, unless they've changed it in Emerald, and everyone's like, dude, the game's been out. For for like 15 years and you're just realizing this now. I'm sorry, I've never played Emerald. League champion, congratulations. And that's it. That is the let's play. We've defeated the Elite Four and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion for the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. As always, at the end of every let's play, I do like to say you know, thank you to everyone who's taken the time to, even if it's just watching one episode, even if it's just today's episode, I just want to say that thank you guys for watching any sort of content that I provide, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. I always say this because I do mean it. I do appreciate those who take the time to come in and check my channel, check out my videos, because hey, if I can get some good feedback from you guys, and do you people can smile, laugh, enjoy what I'm doing out here, then I'm doing a good job then. In my opinion, anyways. But, ladies and gentlemen, that does mean, since we have defeated Elite Four, that this will be the final episode as I forecasted last episode. And thanks to that, we can now have ourselves another Let's Play. So, I will give you guys a hint. The next Let's Play I'm going to do is a, a fan-made game. And this fan-made game, I've been asked... Around the same time I've been asked to do Clover. So it's not Clover, guys, so don't, don't worry. I've already done Clover. A lot of people have been telling me that Clover has had another update. And I do plan on playing Clover again in the future. Truth be told, I am the first YouTuber to ever beat that game as a Nuzlocke. And people might say, no, trust me, look on YouTube. I am the first Pokemon YouTuber who's done that. But, with that said, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like button down below. Because as always, your support's very appreciated. Stay tuned for the update vlog that's going to be coming up. Now, a lot is going to be discussed in this update vlog. Most of the stuff about something that's been bothering me in the Pokemon community. 
Um, but some of the stuff obviously talking about what's happening with the channel, what's happening with me. So it's a video you probably shouldn't miss because there's a lot of information that's going to be put out in that video. And I mean, like I said, if you guys want to know what's going on, I would definitely stay tuned for that video. That video will come out on Friday. So today's Wednesday. So when this video comes out, it'll be Wednesday morning. So stay tuned on Friday. And yeah, that's all I can say to you guys. So until next time I see you guys in the next Let's Play, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!